Hey guys, Ryu here with another bit for Blender. In this one, I'm gonna be talking about one of the tools in Hardups that's probably not that commonly known. So let's grab a cube with Shift A and let's go here to Q and we're going to apply a bevel to it. We're gonna make a kind of like a large bevel and go to Control tilde and click here and we're going to make the bevel really fat. Okay, so 0 0.1 exactly. Okay, all right, cool. So it's about 10 centimeters, right? 0 0.1 meter. So now if I'm gonna go to Q, under operations, you got bevel and edge manager. If I just click on this one, right? I'm gonna go to bevel boolean manager, okay? And I can do some fantastic things in here. So for example, I can divide it by half just by clicking on stuff, okay? Which is really convenient, okay? I can then add segments, you know, uh, to it. And also I can go to a custom bevel very easily uh, which is, you know, a uh, kind of cool way of working as well. But I can do this also from the menu directly. So let me show you. Let's go back to control tilde and let's just bring this bevel back to where it was. So 0 0.1. Okay, so it's massive. Go to Q, operations and control click on this menu, which will half the bevel. Okay, one more time. Boom, half the bevel. So now from 0 0.1, we should have received 0 0.25 and that's exactly where we are. Okay. Now you can go the other way around with Alt, so you can go here operations, hold Alt and click, all right, and it's going to go up, so it's going to multiply it by two, all right. Another cool thing that this tool does is actually uh, changing um, the uh, edge type. So if I'm going to go to Control tilde and here, you see that um, my sharpen will apply only sharp edges, okay. So let me just click OK here, go to Q and sharpen. If I go to edit mode, you can see that I have sharp edges in here uh, added to my mesh. But what if I wanted to change these sharp edges to something else? Let's say I wanted to have crease instead of sharp, okay? So I can do this very easily by going to Q, operations, shift click and switch from sharp to crease and click OK and boom, I got crease uh, instead of sharp. I could delete them if I wanted to, so I can go to operations, right? I can go to this tool again and remove crease and OK. And I got nothing but just sharp edges, right? Then I could, for example, remove sharpen as well. So I could remove sharpen, OK, and I click OK, and then I got nothing. I'm back to zero, OK? So this is, you know, um, on the cube is maybe not that uh, significant, but if you have a really complicated mesh with a lot of edges, you know, and you want to, for example, change them or add B weight, uh, you know, it could be troublesome because you need to go to select, select sharp edges, etc. This is much quicker, okay? And, you know, gives you this whole menu and different types of, you know, different ways of applying it. For example, you can specify an angle, okay? So if I'm going to go here to one degree angle, right? And let's say I'm going to have some kind of a funky, funky edge in here, okay? Like this, all right? So GG and move it in here, right? And I'm going to apply sharp, okay? You see that the sharp will not get applied to this edge because it's uh, below 30 degrees. But if I'm going to apply another sharp here and I want to recalculate it to something else, and if I do not have this angle option checked in here, so the angle is not really, you know, really, really low, it will not work, okay? So I can now apply every all the changes to angle above one degree. And I can, for example, uh, remove the sharp and change from sharp to B weight, okay? Or, or let's say, you know, seam, okay? And click OK, and boom, all the edges were taken into, you know, into consideration. So, you know, this is a really cool, t uh, cool tool, guys. Uh, you know, very versatile. You can use it in different ways. Um, kind of a really awesome edge management. Um, that allows you to change different types of edges from one to another and also like I said, you know a very cool bevel management as well So if you want to have precise bevels uh, On all your mesh or more than one mesh because this works on multiple meshes. Okay, I watch this I can select all of them Q uh, Operations and Control click boom all of them get halved here. Yeah? See what I mean? So it's really versatile and very powerful. Well, that's it, guys. Quick tip from me. I hope you enjoyed the vid. Links to hard ups and box cutter as usual in the video description. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next video.